This is the Windows Calculator. I'd like to make a keyboard shortcut to open it. This has proved to be a little bit difficult. Now, you could press the Windows key and type in calculator, and then it opens, which is completely fine. I just figure I could save milliseconds of time if I could have an actual keyboard shortcut for this. Turns out you can't. The first thing that I want to do is go to my desktop, right click and select new shortcut. You can Google around and find the location of the items, the system items that is, and I did so for calculator. Here it is, I've pasted it in. Click next, open calculator is what we'll name it. And there it is on my desktop. If I double click that, here's our calculator again. Straightforward, right? Right click the shortcut, properties, and we can create a shortcut key right here. So I'm gonna go control shift F8, arbitrarily, placing a shortcut to where if I click that, there's another way to open a calculator. As you can see, it is literally milliseconds faster than typing it into the Windows key prompt. Inside of VIA, I'm on layer three just for demo purposes. You can do this on layer two if you wanna override one of your current keys, but I'm on layer three, and then we're going to go to macros. I'm gonna go down to one I haven't used, macro 10. Go full screen in order to record keystrokes. Now I'm going to go control shift F8. There's our macro keyboard shortcut. Make sure to click save here. And then back on the key map, let us just select the letter V or normally where V would sit. And then go over here to macro and pop M10 on there. I'm going to hit escape to exit out of there. And then I'm going to go function V, bada bing, there it is. Control shift F8, there it is. Function V, there it is. Windows key calculator, there it is. A lot of different shortcut ways to do the same thing. Hope it's helpful for you. And if you want to see another video about creating shortcuts with VIA, you can click right here. I have prepared this in advance for you to enjoy. Have a great one.